Olivia, what are you doing? Making dyes out of natural materials. Why are we doing this? We are trying to experiment with transferring color or pigment from natural materials, which is a science goal. And we're also trying to experiment with new materials and techniques in art. You may have noticed that different natural materials in your environment have different colors. What gives these things their bright colors? It's something called pigments. A pigment is something that is added to something else to give it color. And it can also be naturally occurring in different plants or animals or rocks or minerals. So natural pigments can come from just about anything. On the left here, we see what is called ochre. It's a type of rock and it was used to make paints and dyes by indigenous people. And in the middle, we see what is called the cochineal beetle. And it was used by the Aztecs in ancient times and it's still used in different pigmented products today. It's a small beetle. When it's crushed up, its blood contains a really bright red pigment that is used to make dyes. And finally, we see the murnex shell. It was crushed up and uh, used to make a purple dye in ancient times. Rocks and minerals are also common sources of pigments, and they're used a lot in creating paints. So can we use natural materials that we find in our environment to make dyes? We can, and we're going to try out some experimentation and see if we can make it work. So you will need some different containers. We're using glass bowls because they are heat proof. Um, and we ended up also using Tupperware containers later on. You're gonna need some hot water. And because we're using hot water, you're going to need some adult help. You're also going to need to gather some natural materials. So these could be things that you find in your fridge, like fruits or veggies or spices in your spice cupboard. Um, or they can be things that you find outside, like plants. Get adult help if you're gathering plants from outside because some plants, even ones in your own garden, can be poisonous. So make sure you know what they are before you start picking them. So we've gathered up our materials and put them into various containers. So we've got some onion skins of both yellow and red onion, some red cabbage, we grabbed some flowers, and some, some more flowers, some bleeding heart flowers and irises from our garden. And we have coffee and turmeric, and we're going to be pouring some hot water into each of the bowls. And we're not pouring very much water, just enough to cover the material. And we're making sure that little hands stay out of the way because there can be some splash. Um, and we do want to have adult support for this part. You can use just warm water from the tap, but I find it does work better if the water is boiling. So we'll just cover each of the uh, materials in the bowl with some hot water. All right, we've let it cool down just a tiny bit. Now we're just kind of going to stir and press the material down so that it does get covered up by the water. And we can even see the pigments are starting to come out of the materials already, especially in the blue uh, irises here, the purple irises. The pigment is 
blue. And um, over in the purple cabbage, we see it as well right away. So we just had some fun stirring and making sure the materials were submerged and pressed down underneath the water. And they're still very hot at this stage, so it's best to do this with adult support. We're going to let these sit overnight, so make sure they're in a place where they won't be disturbed. And now we wait. Join us for part two, where we're going to test out our natural dyes and see if they, if they worked out, if they create color when we paint them onto a piece of paper. Thanks for watching.